Hey everyone, welcome back to another Java short video. Today's topic is what is the difference between a shallow copy and a deep copy in Java? Let's break it down. A shallow copy creates a new object and copies references to the original object's fields. If the object contains primitives, they are copied directly. However, for fields that are objects themselves, their references are copied rather than creating a new instances. For example, here we create a person with name Alice and store it in the original reference and then we make a copy of it. Now this creates a shallow copy because both original and copy now refer to the same memory location as no new object is created during shallow copy. So if we change the name of the person in copy to Bob, then the name field of the original object is also modified. And this is where deep copy can help. A deep copy creates a completely separate object and copies all fields including sub-objects by cloning them. This ensures that the new object is independent of original object. For example, here inside the deep copy method, we create a deep copy of the person object by calling its constructor and passing the name reference to it. Now the copy object is completely independent of the original object and hence updating the name of the copy object to Bob does not affect the original object where the name stays Alice. So the key difference lies in the independence. Shallow copies share nested object references, risking unintended side effects, while deep copy creates fully independent duplicates even to the sub-object level. Understanding what they are is the first step, but how do we actually implement these different type of copies in Java? In part 2, we will explore two common techniques, copy constructors and the clone method. Stay tuned for that.